absolutely thrilled to be launching my book here at the ANU College of Law. Uh, this is a project I've been working on for 18 years, since its first inception. Uh, first as an undergraduate student myself doing Jessup, then um, through my honours thesis with Justice Edelman as my supervisor, then as a PhD here with Don Rothwell as my supervisor, and finally its transformation into a book. It's been a long time, um, but it has resulted in something I'm very, very proud of, and I'm so thrilled to have everyone here and to have the incredible panel who helped launch the book tonight. International lawyers, arts international lawyers, are always fascinated by sources of our law. I think we're, we're much more obsessed with it. For nearly a century, um, one of the great puzzles in international law has been the meaning of Article 38 1C of the Statute of the International Court of Justice, the meaning of general principles as a source of international law. What Imogen's book has done is it's broken down this idea into what she calls a tetrahedron um, and systematically explained and comprehensively engaged with all of the debates in this area to explain why general principles as a source of international law are sometimes specific, they're sometimes rules, they sometimes instantiate international law and sometimes they go beyond international law to understand or help us understand the very nature of law itself. <laughs>